As hospitals across the state deal with a record number of COVID patients needing care in some areas, available ICU beds are being closely watched. As Mike McDaniel explains, that creates even more challenges for smaller hospitals that are already playing larger roles. With hospitalizations rising in Louisiana, state and health leaders are concerned about what may happen. We are very much on a trajectory right now of increased positivity, increased cases, increased hospitalizations that threaten our ability to deliver life-saving care in our hospitals. Governor John Bell Edwards says we're not there yet, but in some areas that threat is closer than in others. According to numbers from the State Department of Health, as of Thursday, there are only 15 available ICU beds in Region 3. There's a total of 81. Low availability creates a challenge for St. James Parish Hospital. All of the referral centers are heavily, um, you know, uh, inundated with, with COVID patients. CEO Mary Ellen Pratt says COVID patients make up 40 to 50 percent of the patient population. As a small rural hospital, St. James isn't licensed for an ICU and relies on transfers to larger hospitals for critical care. As a result, we've had to um, hold patients for longer than what we typically do. We've had to intubate and put patients on ventilators. The vaccine effort is also centered at the hospital because no pharmacies in the parish have it. Pratt says there's no freezer storage at the hospital, so doses have to be given quickly. With a request for more doses from the state, Pratt says the hospital is working with parish government to set up a large vaccination effort. We're going to have to ramp up to be able to administer um, more than what we're doing now in terms of the number per day and the number of staff that we have allocated to it. Mike McDaniel, Eyewitness News.